X books, some replacement books, and a low print run magician. Yes, sir. All right, so within these four packages from eBay, feature the X Men, which is always fantastic. Some kind of sort of replacement books, and then uh, two books that wrap up a run, another run that feature uh, a fantastic magician. So I don't know which one's which. Let's see. Let's do the X books and Superman books because I don't know why the seller shipped four comics in two packages. Unless they were already just packaged up, ready to go, and then I just happened to... But that wouldn't make sense, because they were all four separate listings anyway, so I don't know. I can't explain it, so we'll see which one's switch. What the hell? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Trans... What the... Why? Unless this is like a bonus book. But why ship it separately? I don't understand what's happening. What is life? That one, I mean, I guess that would make sense. They, so, Transformers Beast Wars number 13. I'm hoping it's a bonus book. As opposed to si sending me the wrong book. Alright. <laughs> I know uh, my man, North Garden, Chris from North Garden Comics, he's a big Transformers fan. I never, honestly, I never cared for Beast Wars. I thought it was stupid. Just, I mean, I was like, okay, you want to do something interesting, whatever, but I just never cared for Beast Wars. All right, so hopefully, okay, that makes more sense. So I think that was just a bonus book. So, but why ship it separately though? I don't understand that. I really don't. Honestly, I wonder if that was a mistake. But that was, I don't know. <laughs> no, I didn't say. <laughs> like, I'm always down for uh, bonus books. I've given out bonus books too when I've sold things. So, I mean, I always appreciate it. But, all right, let's get to the star of the show. <laughs> and, like, just bonus books, yeah, like, everybody, nobody's gonna shit on bonus books. But just the fact that, like, you just shipped it separately, like, that's what I don't understand. But here we go. So, uh, a few, who knows how long ago, a few weeks ago, I picked up some, a run, not a run, but two, it was some Superman books from this one seller. Some Action Comics books and some uh, Superman, it was five issues from Action Comics, this Brainiac run, and then three issues of Superman or Adventures of Superman, something like that. But two of them were News 10 editions, when even though they showed the direct edition copy, so I had to go through that whole return process. But here we go, found them from another seller. Action Comics 866, Brainiac Parts 1, and 867, Brainiac Part 2. Yeah, Jeff Johns, Gary Frank, and John Seibel. So, just, I like Brainiac, this is a cool villain, so I wanna check that out. And then, got two X books because of course, so I'm still working on, was it 237, 238? I have a bunch of X books coming in. So hopefully by now, you will have seen my, uh, the short that I dropped, which was a teaser. Showing off all the packages that I had ready to show off and unbox. But uh, all aboard the Mutant Train, Uncanny X-Men 237. So I still have a chunk of newsstand editions that I need to replace. And I think by now, with all those packages, should be all of them, honestly. And then 238. Just a quick note, after the video I realized that the seller shipped the wrong book. It was supposed to be Uncanny X-Men 228, not 238. So I've already reached out to them and hopefully we can get that resolved. So yeah, a couple of these that have been sitting in my collection from Uncanny X-Men, as well as the Adjective List 1991 X-Men, which is technically volume two. So that, that's the bag which I will keep and then Transformers Beast Wars number 13. Who's on this? Burnham, Chan, and Blue. I knew Burnham is. All right, so now, uh, let me see. all right. We have two other packages here. DC Comics, some low print run. These two books here, 
uh, feature the last two issues of a series that I should have had years ago. I just didn't. And they kind of jumped in price because of the cover artist. He's always done fantastic work and is usually high demand. And his work usually commands a, uh, can command a, a nice price after some time. Oh yeah. Derek Free Dogs, Jamal Igel, and John Dale present Zatanna number 15, the Adam Hughes cover. He did the covers on the last, so this series ran 16 issues. I want to say he did the last, maybe, was it four to five covers maybe? I don't remember honestly, but oh my goodness. So did have a couple spine ticks in it, but I was happy to finally get this. The trade you can read and find, so I wouldn't even been able to finish reading the series. But yes, number 15. Oh my goodness, that thing is beautiful. And then, oh my goodness, this is gonna be one of those packages. Secured, surely. And through the power of movie magic, <laughs> here we go. So honestly, I had to cut out a big chunk of this video because this how they just packaged it really well, which I'm appreciative of. It just means it just took a little bit longer to uh, pull it out. But like this, inside of here, with the bubble mailer, and then, the, or not the bubble mailer, but the Gemini mailer inside the other package. So it's packaged fantastic. But speaking of magic, here is, yes, Zatanna number 16, now our fishnet and top hat glory. This gorgeous cover by Adam Hughes. So finish another run, capping off this 16 issue run from Zatanna, which ended in, I don't know what date was on here. Oh, October 2011. So that was, damn, yeah, that was right before New 52. I thought it was much, uh, I thought there was a bigger separation between the series and New 52. So I think that was November 2011, wasn't it? It had to have been. But yes, Satana number 16, this cover right here. If you see these books, it is a rare time because it was, at least maybe this last issue might've been the low print run. I thought it was 15 as well. But who knows? But look at this. Oh my goodness, this cover. Satana, the top hat. Hannah just has a cool ass costume all together. Some people's mileage might vary with the fishnet, but she just looks cool as hell. She's got one of the best does like costumes in DC Comics, so oh yes, this is clean. So yeah, Zatanna, 15 and 16. So I had, well, I, I don't know, the last couple years I picked up issue 7 that I was missing and then 12 and 14 or 12, 13 and 14 as well. So decided to go hard and search out 15 and 16. So yeah, oh my goodness. So we got Zatanna, 15 and 16, a couple action comics issues. To Uncanny X-Men issues, Mutants, Magic, and I got no M for Superman. So, Mutants, Magic, and Might. How about that? And then, Machine, Mutants, Magic, Might, Mugic? <laughs> Mutants, Magic, Might, and Machines. Look at that. All the M's. So yeah, that is my haul. Oh my goodness, these Zatanna books. Insane. Good luck trying to get these books. Oh, I think the there are some graded copies, which just demanding several hundred dollars. Just insane. More X-Men. Oh, yes. And the bonus book shipped separately. Again, why? I don't know. Appreciate it. Shout out to the seller for doing that. I just like, all right. I feel like it just costs you more to ship out another book, though. When, I don't know. But yeah, so that's that. Uh, let me know what you thought of these books here. All right, what do you think about Zatanna? I think she's a fantastic character. Again, I talk about her design. She's had a, uh, definitely a lot of love with Justice League Dark in recent years. And I think she can definitely just go, uh, she's got a higher ceiling, so she can definitely, has room to grow as far as popularity and her status within the DC universe. So uh, yeah, looking forward to reading this. If you read this, let me know what you thought of it. I don't even know if you can find a trade, like who knows? I feel like it's just 
sold out and everybody's just holding on to them for whatever reason. So who knows? But yeah, uh, share your thoughts in the comments below. Happy reading, happy on happy collecting. This is Geno's Comics. Thanks for watching and peace out. And for more comics content, head over to genoscomics.wordpress.com.